balanced chemical equations. As we know, mass can neither be created nor destroyed. This law applies to a chemical reaction too. This means that the total mass of elements in the products of a chemical reaction has to be equal to the total mass of the elements in the reactants. The number of atoms of each element remains the same before and after a chemical reaction. For example, let's look at the following chemical equation. Zinc plus sulfuric acid give rise to zinc sulfate plus hydrogen. This is further simplified as Zn plus H2SO4 give rise to ZnSO4 plus H2. Now, let us look at the number of atoms of each element on LHS and RHS. Element Number of atoms in reactants, LHS. Number of atoms in products, RHS. Z in zinc, 1, 1. H hydrogen, 2, 2. S sulfur, 1, 1. O oxygen, 4, 4. As you can see, the number of atoms of each element on LHS and RHS are the same. Therefore, this chemical equation is a balanced equation. Now, look at the following equation. Fe plus H2O give rise to Fe3O4 plus H2. If you notice, the number of atoms of each element are not the same on both sides of the arrow. Therefore, this is an unbalanced equation. We can balance this equation using the following steps.